at the time, most of the schools in Canada, you had to choose your major right before you applied for college. So you had to choose like from the get-go, and I wasn't really sure I wanted to commit to something that early. So in a sense, like it's been a good experience for me here at U Chicago, having a chance to try everything out with the core curricul curriculum and all that. It's not something you really find in Canadian schools, so that's why I wanted to apply to an American school. Okay. It's, uh, it's a funny story, actually, because I only really visited two universities. It was U Chicago and the Northwestern uh -huh. um, campus. And I visited the U Chicago campus first, and they gave me a campus tour. They had a, a woman walk around who was a third year, I think. And she was like really enthusiastic, talking about the core curriculum and all the facilities here. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then right after we went to Northwestern, and all we did was sit in the classroom, and it was in a, like a monotonous, boring two hours. So just by comparison, <laughs> Chicago looked really, really attractive. So that's why I applied here. OK. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, I've always been interested in martial arts. I trained a bit in Canada, but I didn't really have time to do much of it until I came to university. Mm -hmm. So I started with a judo club, and then I discovered Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I, just, I, I trained over the summer in Hong Kong so I decided why not start my own RSO here since there wasn't one in existence mm -hmm. and a lot of the American students flocked to it they loved it um, it's a pretty big sport here in the States you know MMA and mm -hmm. yeah that kind of combat sports are pretty big okay. so yeah I've got a nice gathering so far and <laughs> it's helped me connect with the American students pretty well okay so immediately after graduating I'm planning on either Hawk, working in Hong Kong or Canada or I have this like crazy idea of going to Thailand and training martial arts for a year. But oh, wow. <laughs> we'll see how that goes yeah, in terms of like job applications and stuff. Uh -huh. But as for long term, I think I'd rather settle in Canada. Mm -hmm. Just because I grew up there, it's my hometown, all my friends are there, and free healthcare. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Yeah. Okay.